We still remember on the evening of October 27, 2018, the whole football world was shocked by the accident of Leicester City president Mr. Vichai. The billionaire's helicopter had a problem trembling through the air before crashing into the ground and exploding. The accident killed all five people on the helicopter. Mr. Vichai's personnel helicopter is the Augusta Westland AW169 model. This accident is an unfortunate incident because before the accident, this helicopter model was considered to be highly safe, having never had an accident before, despite some minor technical problems. Augusta Westland AW169 was developed by Leo Lepter, formerly Augusta Westland, then merged into Finmechania from 2016. The helicopter was first introduced in 2010 at the Frankfurt International Air Show. In 2012, the first AW169s were tested. It was not until 2015 that the European Aviation Safety Agency issued a flight safety certificate to AW169 one year later than expected. The helicopter is integrated with many modern technologies, reducing vibration providing a smoother flying experience for passengers. When launched, Augusta Westland AW69 was the most superior helicopter model in the 4.6 to 4.8 ton segment. The system is said to be a direct competitor to short models as their model 429 Global Ranger and Aerocopter EC145. In addition to the commercial variant, capable of carrying up to 10 passengers, the AW169 also has special versions for rescue missions, military or special versions according to customers' individual requirements. AW169 was designed to utilize a high degree of commonality with the larger Augusta Westland AW139 and AW189, so it has many similarities. It has a length of 14.65 meters, a width of 2.53 meters, a height of 4.5 meters, a rotor diameter of 12.12 .12 meters, and a gross weight of about 4.8 tons. AW169 has a slick smooth appearance, creating a great aerodynamic configuration. The cockpit is located immediately behind the pointed nose, covered almost entirely by enamel glass creating grid views for two pilots sitting side by side. The AW169 full digital glass cockpit is equipped with a modern aviation electronics grid, integrating three active magic liquid crystal displays, a four axis to a duplex digital automatic flight control system and two aircraft monitoring and mission systems. The automated systems reduce crew load and ensure single or dual pilot visual flight rooms operations. The Avionic Squid can be incorporated with safety enhancement systems such as traffic and terrain avoidance systems, collision avoidance systems, obstacle detection device, and emergency Avionic systems. It complies with the next-gen satellite-based navigation, communication, and surveillance requirements. The AW169 can be equipped with a wide range of equipment to suit various mission requirements, includes weather radar for good-looking infrared system, rescue hoist, cargo hook, emergency flotation and life rafts, searchlight, and medical equipment. The airframe is made from environmentally friendly composites. After the cockpit is the passenger section. Entry exit for the pilots is through hinged automobile style doors, while the passenger cabin space is accessed via sliding doors. The twin engine is located on the cabin, driving five bladed and three bladed rotor unit. The landing gear is a three retractable wheels, perfect for the helicopter's smooth aerodynamic configuration. The AW169 
is powered by a pair of bread and guinea Canada PW210 a FedEx turbocharged engines, which drives the main rotor at variable speeds to reduce external noise and increase efficiency. Newly developed dampeners were installed between the rotor blades of the main rotor in order to reduce vibration levels for a smooth passenger experience. AW169 has a maximum speed of 306 km per hour and a range of 820 km. It can hover in a wide range of temperatures or altitudes at maximum rock weight. It is known that the average price of an AW169 will be about $8 million, while if the interior is changed, the price will be a little higher than the regular version. Currently, most of the AW169s were manufactured is serving in the private sector or government agencies of some countries, of which the most used AW169 is the UK. In addition to the civilian model, Leo Lector also introduced another variant, AW169M, the signation for a militarized variant with adaptations for troop transport, utility support, maritime patrol, arm reconnaissance, and close air support operations. My video of Augusta Westland AW169 ends here. Thank you for watching. If you find this video interesting, please give me your thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to support the channel. Goodbye and see you again.